Hey folks, it's Piano Man Steve Lundgren, founder of LearningMusicIsFun.com, where we teach piano players to play rock, pop, and country music effectively. Thanks for tuning in. This is part two of my tutorial for Zanzibar by Billy Joel. And this is how far we are going to get in this one. beginning of the chorus. So that's kind of how far we're going to go. So let's start out. First of all, we learned in the intro how to do this, which is pretty important because that's the rhythmic basis for most of what we're going to do in this video. And also we are going to spend a lot of time on this A minor 9 chord. So. So anyway, find in your left hand two A's below middle C, and then form octaves on that one and the one below it, like here. Okay, now, it's A, E, G, A, E, G. Then it goes to an F, and it's an F9. Okay, so what's happening here is it goes F, C, E flat, F, C, E flat, then back to A, E, G, A, E, G, then B flat, because it goes to a B flat major nine chord, and it's B flat, F, G, B flat, F, G. So let's just focus on that for right now. So we already know this in the A minor nine, we're gonna play G, B, C, and E, and it's ba 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 ba. So we already kind of learned that. If you don't, if if that's not coming together for you very fast, I want you to go back to part one of this tutorial and learn that rhythmic line from the intro, so we don't have to spend too much time on that here. We just want to get to the parts that are less familiar. So slowly, it looks like this on the A minor nine. It starts like so. Okay, let me slow that down even a little bit more and show you once again. Three, four. One more time, nice and slow, and then we'll move on. Okay. Okay, so the next part that we want to look at goes like this. It goes... So what are we doing? The left hand... The left hand here, octaves, C's below the middle C there. So it's like this. Bum, bum, bum. 
F, C, F, F, C, C, B, A, E, A, A, B, 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 E, E. Okay, so again, it's one, two, one, two, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. Let me play that a little slower here. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One more time really slow, then I'll show you the right hand and we'll put them together. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. So the right hand goes like so. We play a C chord which is G, C, and E, and with middle C in the middle of it. So, one, two, three. See what I'm doing here? Ba -boom. So we've got this C chord, and then suddenly, with your middle finger and pinky finger, we play D and F, and then right back down to the C chord. So it's like it modulates up slightly to, to a D minor. One, bump. Then it goes to an F chord. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. Then it does that again. Bum, bum. Now it goes to an A minor chord. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. One, two. One, two, three, da da da, bum, thum, bum. Now it goes to a B half diminished seven, okay? So that means you've got octave Bs in the bass, like we've done. Da, 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 da. You're going to play A, D, and F. So it's like a D minor chord up here, but with a B in the bass, it becomes a B half diminished seven, okay? And it's just ba 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 one and two and three and four and one two and on the count of two you come in on this E augmented chord G sharp C E it's sort of a theme we come back to this every so often to right before we go into ba 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 okay so watch just the right hand then I'll start putting them together slowly one two three, four, one, duh. One more time. Together it looks like this. time.
Okay, so then we go back to just like we did before. And then eventually we come back to this and we play exactly what we did before. Here we go. Except now we go to a... See what this is? Bum, bum. So we go E onto this E augmented chord. Bum, bum, bum. One, two, three, four. So both of them just come in. One, two, three, four. And then it goes to an A minor nine, which is G, B, C, E. A, bum, 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 bum. So again, watch this really slow. It goes one and two and three and four and now it becomes a G7 chord and we go B, G, B, D, and F, one and two and three, four. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three, four. And then you're ready for the chorus. So let me play just that section slow a couple times, and we'll do the whole verse a few times slow. One more time. Let's look at the entire verse that we've just kind of broken down here and we'll just go through it several times slow so you can see how it all fits together. We start out like so. Let's do that again a couple more times, even slower.
okay? One more time, good and slow, all the way through the verse, and then we'll play it at full speed. Okay, when you get it up to speed, it'll look like so. and then you're ready to move on to the next level once you get this one mastered. So I'll see you there, and uh, we'll be learning the chorus. Remember along the way, folks, if you're not having fun when you're making music, you're doing it wrong. That's Piano Man Steve's prime directive. And in the meantime, happy playing. So I'm going to sign out of here for now, but I'll see you soon. Please come join us at learningmusicisfun.com and take your playing to the next level.